a mad tire, you guys. <laughs> Hello everyone, today I'm having trouble with ideas. This is less of a video and more of a rant, but I just haven't had a good idea in weeks and it's starting to take a mental toll on me. I, I feel like a shit writer. I can't come up with a single idea that isn't cheesy or hasn't been done before, like not a single one. And I can't figure out why this is happening, like I'm trying to come up with some explanation for it, but I just can't. I changed my diet and like started going to the gym recently, so maybe that's it, or maybe it's like the stress from school. Or maybe I'm just like growing older and losing my imagination. Oh, Mr. Imagination. This is his fault. Let me back into my brain, you bastard. I need to talk to you. Look, I know it's usually your choice when I come up there, but you're pissing me off right now. You know, Mr. Imagination, I was thinking about starting a new story recently and I want to talk to you about it. Come on, that used to work. Oh, listen, it is in your best interest to let me back into my brain right now. Or I swear the next time I see you, I am going to throw some hands. I have some booze if you want it. Oh, okay, so that's how we're playing now. Uh. Are you kidding? You said you were going to fix the entrance. Put a slide in there. Yeah, sorry. Never quite made my way around to it. What happened to you? Where's the booze? Are you doing okay? You promised me a drink. Please, you can't be that stupid. I was just using that as bait. You suck. You suck. Get, get out of here. You know what? It's time for something that we haven't done in a very long time. A performance review. Chris, quit playing. Oh no, I'm serious. Clean yourself up. Come on over to this table, and we're going to have a real fun time together. <sighs> Welcome, Mr. Imagination. Take a seat. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be conducting your performance review. How long have you worked for this company? What kind of dumbass question is that? The kind you have to answer if you want to continue working at this company. Fine. I've been working here 19 years. 19 years... And what would you say is your role here? Everything. I've given you every single one of your good ideas. I told you to play pretend for the first time. I I told you to write for the first time. Do you even remember that? All right, sir, let's not get too cocky. Let's talk about some of your more recent ideas. All right, 15th of May this year, you told Chris to write a story about zombie dogs called, and I quote, Zomba dogs. Why are you talking in the third person? How do you plead? I'll admit it wasn't the greatest of ideas, okay? But we all make mistakes. I had been watching Zombieland that week, and then I saw Beverly Hills Chihuahua, and I just thought, you know... September 2nd, you told Chris to write a screenplay about a vampire romance called In Cold Love, which I must admit is an objectively bad pun. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. I think I just had some like some funky cheese that day, you know? <laughs> Yet surprisingly, not the worst thing I have on you. Really? <laughs> October 19th, you told Chris to write a novel in which a woman is stuck in a love triangle between a toaster and an oven, one of which is the father of her child. You told her to name this masterpiece Bun in the Toaster Oven. Oh yeah, no, for that one I was just straight up drunk. <laughs> and very hungry. Okay, Mr. Imagination, we could keep doing this all day, but um, I think I've gotten my point across. You're just giving Chris bad ideas at this point. How dare you? The only bad idea I ever gave her, you, was to start a YouTube channel. I think it's fair to say that you no longer provide this company with value, so I hereby fire you and banish you from my brain. Oh yeah? And who's gonna take my place? I haven't decided yet, but honestly, anyone is better than you. Oh yeah, I'm sure Mrs. Time Management will be great at making up story ideas. Ha <laughs> very funny. I'm sure she will be. Now stumble off and try to get to an AA meeting before you pass out. Well, that happened. If anyone wants a highly dysfunctional imagination, he's probably roaming the streets somewhere. And he can be all yours today for the low price of insanity. Order now while supplies last. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope I can come up with a good idea for next week's video. I can't think of anything to do next week. Wow, is my creativity g gone? Oh, right, and have a great uh, gods of plot side, huh?
Keeping it PG today, kids, with root beer instead of real beer. I can't drink, I'm 19. I wanna drink out of my family bottle. You suck, you suck. So does my mustache. <laughs>